I like beer cause it is good. I drink beer because I should. If there was a song to sing, I sing it and beer you bring. Right, let's go drink some beer! Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Homebrew Review with me, Kojak. Kit I'm going to be reviewing today for you is the Cooper's Stout. Now this is not the Cooper's Irish Stout, which a lot of people get confused with. This is the Cooper's Australian Stout. As you can see it's a completely different can. It's just the traditional sort of white, red and uh, blue on there. So there's not a huge amount on here to be honest. It just says Original series Australian Cooper Stout, net weight 1.7 kilograms. No, not a lot at all. No little details or anything on there. It's got a few little instructions on the side. And that's it, really. So, nothing too exciting with regards to the can, but hey ho, the important thing is the taste at the end of the day, isn't it? So, to give you a bit more background on how I brewed this before we go into the uh, taste test. So, I started this on the 23rd of March 2012 and today is the 20th of August 2012. Um, not sure what date I bottled it now actually, I haven't got that there, it probably would have been around early April so it's a good four and a half months old which is a really good age for a bit. Um, so yeah like I said it's the Cooper Stout kit, I used the, um, the standard kit that came with um, yeast that came with the kit. Um, I also added 500 grams of Munton's Extra Dark Spray Malt and 500 grams of Brewing Sugar or Dextrose, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the original gravity was 1 spot 0 0.040 0, and the final gravity was 1 spot 0 0.010, 0, giving us an ABV of 4.6% as I use sugar to secondary um, ferment it. I uh, primed it with normal granulated sugar, um, so the pint per price works out roughly 43p so pretty much exactly the same as the uh, Cooper's Australian Lager which is good and I made it up to 40 pints um, that's about it really I think the only other advice I can give you guys is that if you're using the dried um, spray malt sometimes you can find it does clump up a lot I find the easiest thing to do is that you add your boiling water first add the powdered spray malt first really give that a good old whisk round then add your extract from the kit. I find with that it's a lot easier. The, the, the water's hotter and it just dissolves the uh, the DME a bit better. So, little tip for you there. Uh. Okay. Oh, now I've got on the bottle here when I um, I actually bottled this on the 31st of March 2012. So that's nearly five months old now. Um, so fantastic. So here she is in the bottle. But more importantly, let's crack this open and give it a taste. Ooh, quite a bit of fizz there. Whack her in the old trusty Foster's glass. Is an Australian stout after all. Okay. Now it's quite carbonated. I don't know how you guys like your uh, stout. Some of you might not like it quite as carbonated as this, but obviously just add less primary sugar. It's not a problem. So this is what she looks like. Nice head on there. Get the old torch. I actually remembered to have it with me this time. You're probably not even going to be able to see through. I don't know. Let's have a look. Can you see anything through there? I can't tell. Shine that in there. Shine it through there. You probably just about see the light if you're very lucky. So it's nice and thick. Um, consistency, if you guys, probably the most common one I know here in the UK of stouts, it's Guinness. Um, you can look at it, it's not as thick as Guinness. Um, at all, it's a lot more watery. I suppose if you added more liquid malt extract to it, made it up with less water, it would be thicker. However, it'd probably be a lot stronger as well. So I think at 4.6%, probably strong enough really for a session beer. Um, but yeah, no, it looks good. Head still there quite nicely. Give it a whiff, shall we? Oh yeah, that. It's got the. Um, Kind of the smell of a Guinness, really. It's not a lot of coffee um, smell to it, which is good because I'm not a really big coffee fan. I had a coffee stout a while ago in a pub. Well, it was a stout. I didn't say it was coffee stout. And I could taste the coffee in it. It was really good. That bitter kind of 
earthy kind of taste that I'm not a massive fan of so hopefully there's not a lot of coffee in this one then. So without further ado, it's enough of me babbling on. Let's have a sip and see how she turns out, shall we? Cheers everyone, here's to your very good health. Mm. Definitely not much coffee taste there. It is really nice, it's got a nice filter through the head there, so it tastes quite nice. I'm getting a kind of slight licorice aftertaste, which is really nice. Not massively bitter. Almost a slight tasting of kind of treacle as well. Um, it's really quite light, it's not heavy going at all, it tastes not very strong at all so you could have quite a lot of these in one night I should think so it's not as thick and as heavy as something like Guinness so it's definitely a lot more sessionable than Guinness I find after three or four Guinnesses I'm bloated out and uh, ready to move on to something else so again like I said it's quite carbonated but it doesn't really come through this well you can't really see but there's not a huge amount of bubbles it's not really gassy at all um, it's just got a nice consistency there with the head you can see still got good head retention on there as well which is partly thanks to the extra dark spray malt just give it a bit more body to it so uh, let's get going for another taste before I give a, a final verdict mm. that is extremely pleasant to drink um, this is cheaper than the Cooper's Irish Stout. I know a friend of mine has brewed the Irish Stout and he said it's really nice. This was only £12.50 for a can. Um, and if you ask me, that's damn good value for money. It tastes really good. I do want to try the um, Irish one just to see if it tastes any different. Um, if I was going to compare it to something, the obvious choice would be Guinness. But I don't think it's that obvious. I think it's got its own characteristics. That's like licorice to it. It's not quite as heavy. Um, but I suppose if you want to make a present, it's going to be Guinness, isn't it? If you're looking at a commercially readily available drink, Guinness, maybe even Murphy's, but Murphy's is thicker than Guinness, so it's probably not going to be that. But I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend making this up, guys. This is really, really good. It just goes down so easily. It's, it's not too thick. It's not too strong. There's not a real bite of the coffee or anything in there. It's just a lovely quite almost sweet tasting, lovely little licorice aftertaste that I'm talking to you now and I can still feel it going down my throat, oh it's lovely. Great head retention, as you can see there is still quite a lot there, a bit of lacing around the glass. So all in all, I think I'm going to give the Cooper Stout kit a pretty respectable, now I'm, I'm tied, torn, Mm. I'm going to go with an 8.5. I couldn't decide whether to go for 8 or 9, so why not leave it slap bang in the middle? It's not quite on the same style standard as the Santa's Winter Warmer. I think this is maybe slightly more to my palate, but again, the Santa's Winter Warmer was two can kit, so you're going to get a lot more thickness and consistency with that. I would love to try a... Um, a stout toucan kit, I think that would be really quite interesting to try. Um, so maybe, you know, fingers crossed, keep uh, keep watching the channel and you might see one of those soon. Uh, I really do like my stouts, so um, I'm definitely going to be getting into those more. I find more as these reviews go on, I'm starting to move more down the ale, stout, porter kind of route as opposed to before I was a, a lager man through and through. So it can only be a good thing, right? Um, but anyway, I'm rambling now, so I'm going to wrap up. Um, like I said, definitely give this kit a go. Just to remind you again, this is the normal Cooper Stout, not the Irish one. Um, Irish one I've heard is pretty good as well, so you might want to give that a try, but this one definitely is a bit cheaper and yeah, definitely worth a try. So I'm going to leave you guys and finish off this lovely pint. I will definitely enjoy that. Don't you worry about that. So until next time, guys, take care and remember. It's not brewed to be looked at, so get drinking. Cheers.